Today, by request, we are going to be installing Pokey Clicker on the Steam Deck. Um, this is pretty much the same as any sort of standard Windows EXE, but we'll go through the motions anyway. So we're going to go ahead and go to their downloader. We're going to download the Windows version, not the Linux version. Download the Windows version and save it into your downloads folder for easy access. I already had it downloaded, but we're doing it again. Okay. So once you've got it downloaded, you're pretty much done with the browser. You can close that up and we're going to go to Steam, add a non-Steam game. We're going to hit browse and we're going to browse to our downloads folder, turn on all files, and then you should see the pokey clicker setup.exe will hit open and add selected programs. Over here, we're going to filter on pokey just so that we uh, can find where that entry is. We're going to select it, go over to the gear, hit properties. And uh, yeah, see, there it is. There's the EXE that we're gonna be launching, but we do have to turn on Proton compatibility. So we're gonna force regular old Proton. Don't even need anything funky for this one. Just regular, the latest version of Proton, the real Proton. Okay, now we are ready to run it. So we're gonna go ahead and play it once here in desktop mode. This isn't where I would wanna play it, of course. I'd wanna play it in gaming mode, but we're gonna make sure that it works over here first. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do a setup and we're gonna accept all the defaults as they are, do not select run pokey clicker now, or it's just gonna cause you problems later. All right, now that we're done, we are going to go find out where that thing got installed at, which we're gonna to go to compat data. There'll be a link to the compat data folder in the description below. But we're looking for the most recent Proton Prefix folder made in here, which is right here. We're gonna right click and copy location. And then we're gonna go back here. Mouse and keyboard, highly recommended for all of these tutorials. We're gonna paste in here the location and hit open. We're gonna jump into PFX, then drill into drive C. And this is in a weird spot. We're gonna go into users, Steam user, app data, local. And you might think it's this desktop updater folder, but it's not. Go into programs, Pokemon desktop, and then find the EXE pokeyclicker.exe. That's a rough one to find. It took me a little while to go dig that one up. And now that we're not running the setup anymore, we're actually just running Pokey Clicker. Let's just rename it to Pokey Clicker. All right. And, well, one more time. Let's make sure that the exe runs before we go back to gaming mode. And of course, I am using a keyboard and mouse, so this will be a little easier for me than it'll probably be for you. This, uh, this game is completely, or whatever this is, this tool is completely uh, mouse driven from the looks of it, uh, mouse keyboard driven. So if you don't have a mouse, you're gonna need to do some trackpad usage, maybe touch screen usage. Um, yeah, but it's, it, it's not controller based. So, you know, again, you put stuff in the Steam Deck that it's not really made for and you have to, you know, work around it. So this thing is going to download a whole bunch of files, and there you go. Now you've got the standalone version. I'm using a mouse, so everything looks good. Um, I have no idea what this thing does, so maybe I'll just hit new save. I just want to make sure it actually loads to some point. Okay, some toasts here. And we'll just click next. Um, I guess we'll just pick one of these. Okay, well, it looks like it works to me, so we're going to go ahead and exit out. And we're gonna take ourselves back over to gaming mode and we're going to run it again. This time in gaming mode. No mouse, no keyboard is available here, right? Um, so, okay, well it runs, that's a start. So now I have to hold down the Steam button to get my mouse to come up. And I have to use my two trigger fingers for right and left mouse click, but it does it does work this way, but no one's gonna be holding that Steam button down. So let's go to controller settings and let's try a game pad with a mouse trackpad. We'll start off with that first and we'll see if that does the job. Just in case there's some game controls in here. I don't think there are, but we're gonna try it anyway. And now I can, I can use the mouse, but it's not, I can't click any, it's not clicking. This isn't working. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do a different control scheme because there's no way to click even though the trackpad is working properly. I did this only by holding down the Steam button, right? But that's not what we want. We don't wanna to have to hold down the Steam button while you're playing this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and head back over to the 
gaming set, uh, control setup. And we're going to go back to the templates. And let's see if we can find uh, mouse only. That sounds pretty good. This looks like a mouse only game. We'll apply it. We'll back ourselves in and let's see. Hey, this works a lot better. No idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. Just clicking somewhere. I don't know. It's working though. And that's the important part, right? Um, those of you who wanted this, um, you know what to do, but it looks like the inputs are working. The game is working. Everything is okay. So I guess, uh, I guess that's it. Uh, of course, you know the drill, you know, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And uh, what you're seeing here is the Deki Loader Plus Steam Grid DB plugin. Thanks so much for watching and take care.